We'll move on to Florida Atlantic, and they are next on the list. We've only got a couple more here. Willie Taggart, 5-7 and seven last year. Post-game win expectancy said they should have been a little bit better. 6-6 uh, six and six roundabout, maybe even could have been 7-5. and five. Um, But again, they beat themselves, number 93 in penalties per game, 65 in turnover margin. We've got another new offensive coordinator here, and that's Brent Deerman. Uh, we'll start off on the offense on this bunch. Uh, Brent Deerman was the MTSU offensive coordinator last year. He was at Kansas under Les Miles prior to that. You remember when Miles got really close to beating Texas, and I think his first year he had fired his offensive coordinator after just a couple of games, and then they hung 48 on Texas? Yeah, this is the same guy. So uh, we'll see what, what they can end up doing here. Nikosi Perry, he was inconsistent last year. He's the quarterback there. But now going into his second season, um, you know, they got big play threats. They got the running back forward. They got wide receivers Burton and Wester. Uh, you, the offensive line brings back four starting offensive linemen that look like they're, they're pretty decently talented. Uh, same old questions here. Does experience matter for the players that weren't good last year? Um, I don't know that. I, I just, who knows? Who knows? Um, on defense, Mike Stoops left. He was the defensive coordinator last year. He joined his brother at Kentucky to be an offensive line, or sorry, an inside linebackers coach. Uh, the new defense coordinator is Todd Orlando. So big names, big names here, but mm, who knows? Uh, the defense, especially the run defense, is the reason the team was competitive last year. They were number 39 in rushing success rate allowed on defense. Uh, as far as like guys to watch out for, the nose tackle, Evan Anderson, 356 pounds. Like Watch that guy. And then watch the defensive end joiner. He is an absolute stud. Secondary's got multiple seniors. They were not as good as the run defense last year. Uh, they were number 60 in passing success rate allowed, and they allowed uh, the number 87 explosive play rate in the country. So that's definitely not good. Jones and Moultrie return at linebacker, but the three Power 5 transfers that they bring out, they, they could get snaps. They could certainly get snaps. The keys to the season. They should have won more than they did last year. We know that much. Uh, on top of that, Willie Taggart has to find a way to improve this offense. Like, you got to score points to win games. And that's the bottom line. Doesn't matter how good the defense is. Being aggressive can certainly lead to penalties, uh, but you got to clean it up. I mean, number 93 in penalties per game is not good. Uh, if your turnover margin isn't going to be top 40, you definitely need the penalties cleaned up. Can a new coaching staff unlock more potential and limit errors? That is the question. That is a key to the season here. I think they're going to be better than they were last year. I think the schedule sets up a little bit easier for them. I've got them going 7-5. and five. I, I like I like Florida, uh, excuse me, Florida Atlantic this year. Uh, FAU looks like they could be headed in the right direction. Willie Taggart sometimes can take a little while to get the ball rolling, and it looks like Boca Raton is going to give him time to get this thing done. So move from five and seven last year up to seven and five this year. Who knows what the next year could bring if they return all of these guys? Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you